A lot of hand color is the only way you can figure out what you want. Buying bananas at the grocery store to figure out if it's green or yellow to see if it's ripe. A lot of times cooking meat can be tricky, especially if you have a red meat. I think that something interesting about colorblindness is it's a pretty invisible disability and that oftentimes most people who know someone who's colorblind will have no idea they're colorblind. point your camera phone right at whatever object you want to look at. This could be a banana at the grocery store or an outfit you want to wear. And then you'll get a nice descriptive label at the bottom that tells you in pretty human terms what color you're looking at. There's another set of features that are a lot more, in my opinion, interesting that let you shift colors around so the colors that used to look the same to you now look different. This is a kind of false color image that is really helpful for reading maps, picking out objects in a scene you couldn't otherwise see, like apples on a tree or for me, red flowers on a bush, pumpkins in the field, uh, the color blindness tests. Someone talking about how they can see all the colors of the fall leaves, which previously and to people like me look just kind of bleh. Uh, someone who said he can pick out the right color flowers for his wife, since she really likes purple flowers, but to him blue and purple look the same. As well as actually a school that talked about using the app to help their students during standardized tests to put them on the same playing field with students who do have full color vision. When most people think of colorblindness, they think of what you see on TV or the depiction of a dog being colorblind, which is totally black and white, there's no colors at all. However, some people are that type of colorblind, but that's a very small portion of the people who are colorblind. I was working at a tech company and I was on my computer reading through some error logs where there was the messages where everything's going fine in black text and then some messages where something wasn't going fine in red text. And it took me the longest time to realize that these weren't both black. To me, they looked the same. Something I then quickly realized is that in my day-to-day -day life, when I'm not just on my computer, it'd be really useful to see the colors that are around me as well. My teacher kept saying that I was coloring my self-portrait wrong, which was really confusing because I was using the green crayon, which is skin color. And then she was saying, no, that's not skin color, it's tan. I was saying, these are just different names for the same color, I don't get it. Electricians need to figure out what color wires are. I've also heard from meteorologists who are needing to read weather maps. That can be very difficult if you're colorblind because the color coding on these maps are all totally distinct for normal vision people, but if you're colorblind, most of the colors look the same. I've gotten everything from someone talking about how they can now match their lipstick to their outfit. Someone saying, oh, I'm gonna take my partner to an art museum, and now he'll finally be able to see all these details I'm talking about, which totally makes sense, but I never would have thought of. 